Hi folks, St. Paul's team here. I just got done with this, and this is my doll rotisserie with chickens, number 916 replica. Um, this is kind of the technical video. She uh, weighs 2 pounds 5 ounces. The metal box itself, the uh, chicken rotisserie, is 5 inches by 2 inches by 9 and a quarter inches tall, including the copper chimney. The wood plinth it's sitting on is 7 inches by 4 inches and a little over 3 quarter inch thick Indiana oak. And uh, I got the idea for this from a couple of different sources. And uh, there's one of them right there. Shows a pretty decent model. Not too bad of shape. And then the, the Morton Hirschberg uh, Steam Toys Bible. Here's more original one. Looks like it's got a metal stamp base on it. And I did my best to replicate those silly looking chickens. And I think we've come close. And here's what I've come up with. My version of it. We'll run around it first and I'll take a closer look at it. Those dry wheels are uh, originally for a Jensen 100 workshop. And uh, I had some mini blanks and I turned them down, put some grooves in them. And uh, I'm using them on here. Nothing to see back here. Both of the spits bars for uh, that are supporting the chickens are on rollerball bearings. Through rollerball bearings as well as the uh, rear drive bar. And as you can see, it turns over real easy. About anything will turn this. They turn very easily. And let's take a closer look at the chickens. Here we go. We have a uh, metal grid in back with a firewall to flame the chickens. And uh, here's my uh, chickens. They're made out of model art clay. I made them myself. And uh, last night painted them, fired them. And uh, here's my uh, St. Paul Steam interlocked. Usually the doll company went there, and I had my plaque maker make that metal tag up for me. Going up to the uh, copper chimney. And I made it as close to the original as I could. The next video, we'll fire it up and uh, have it operating for you. Alright, bye now.